Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So I've been in the dental profession for about 18 years, but I still remember my days as a student, specifically a dental hygiene student. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit and what the costs are typically like. Please keep in mind the cost isn't going to be exact. It's 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 going to vary on the school. OK, but I'm going to tell you my exact costs. OK, so, for example, you are going to have tuition costs but that does not include books, supplies, clinical materials, uniforms, all of that. So all in all, my tuition was about $45,000. Yeah, and that was for about 18 months of my program. That did not include textbooks, that did not, that did not include supplies, that did not include clinical, okay? That was all something extra. But what I want to tell you guys is, of course, it does depend on your school and your program, but you don't need to buy the newest textbook out there. And these days, textbooks you can get on Amazon in a digital format with Kindle. Kindle is free. Kindle is a free program that I have downloaded on my computer laptop as an example, where if I purchase digital books, they go into my Kindle and then I can pop them on my computer, laptop, iPad, cell phone, anytime. What I like about those is you can highlight them. So I would highly recommend getting those if you can versus a physical textbook. When I took the dental hygiene program, laptops and computers were not mainstream. They started to become more mainstream towards the end of my program where we, well, most of us had a laptop in class, but still not everybody. These days, I feel everybody probably takes a laptop to class, correct? So digital is the way to go if you can help it, but you do not need the most recent textbook. If you don't have the most recent textbook, you save money. Now, things like supplies, you cannot really purchase those before your program unless they tell you what they want you to purchase. Sometimes uniforms and textbooks could be included in the tuition price if they want you to get certain ones, but other times they're not. Mine were not. Um, I went to two dental hygiene colleges. I kind of explained that more in previous videos, but one of my colleges, they did have a uniform with the school logo on it. So I did have to purchase those with them, but other times you, you will get kind of a color scheme that you have to follow. You might be able to wear only dark blue or dark black scrubs. You have to find those. You can only wear a white lab coat. Um, or you can only wear a black lab coat, but you do have to find those. Amazon has really good prices, you guys. So if you can pick your own uniforms based on a color scheme, they don't have to be purchased through the school. I do suggest doing that. They will let you know kind of what you need to purchase. So don't think you're going to prepare and get everything before you start the program unless they tell you exactly what they want. Um, instruments, that is something extra. You have to get the instruments that they want you to get because how can you learn on this particular instrument in school if you decided to not purchase it? You will be tested on the instruments they want you to purchase. So they will likely have the instruments purchased for you. You just have to pay for them. So that is usually included in the tuition costs, but not always. But just to give you guys an idea, instruments are very expensive. They can be like anywhere, pardon me, from 20 to $40 a piece. And again, you don't have a choice. You have to purchase them. Certain, certain instruments for different areas of the mouth, the front teeth, the back teeth. Um, you will have curettes. You, you will have scalers. You will learn this soon enough. So don't you worry. You will learn all of that. But then also talking about your other, in, your, your other instruments, such as hand pieces. You will need slow speed hand pieces to polish with. Maybe they are going to want you to have a cordless polisher. It really depends on that school. So hopefully they will give you a list. Things like that, they will likely purchase for you because you're not working in a dental office. So how would you have dental supply companies to purchase from? They will likely purchase those things for you and you will have to pay for it. Things you will have to look for is basic school supplies and possibly a uniform. Think pen, paper, they might recommend a laptop. 
for clinic, you are going to need things such as a storage bin. I remember when I was in clinic, they said you can get any storage bin you want as long as it fits in your locker and fits all of your clinical stuff that you need. Pens, papers, paperwork, your, um, your teeth models that you need to practice on. Anything like that has to fit. Masks, anything like that, they will usually provide for you. But again, it depends on the school. So there's a lot involved, you guys. Basically, don't think to become a dental hygienist, it's going to cost you $5,000. It's going to cost you probably $45,000. This is in Canada, depending on what school you want to go to. But is it worth it? Absolutely. They will likely work out a payment plan for you. You can typically apply for scholarships, things like that. I say do whatever you can. It's completely worth it. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise, because once you graduate, you'll probably be making $40 to $50 per hour, depending on your location. I don't know too many professions where you can make 30 to 50, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the location, but per hour, that's pretty amazing. And it's a, it's an amazing um, career to have. I would never go back. I've been in the dental profession for 18 years now, and I am currently my own mobile dental hygienist with my own practice. So I go into patients' homes, but that's not available everywhere. You're not allowed to be your own boss as a dental hygienist everywhere, but thankfully where I am located, you can be. So if you're thinking, oh my God, that sounds amazing, you may or may not be able to do that. So something that you have to look at depending on your area. So I hope this helped you guys. Good luck. If you are a student who is about to start your dental hygiene program or thinking about it, good luck. Please reach out to me. I would be so happy to help you out. I do have a Dental L Student Academy where I offer you full tutoring online while you are in your program. So check that out. I will leave the link for you down below. Thank you guys for watching and comment if you have any questions at all.